When I first read about it on Instagram, I did not think much of it. Hamas are terrorists and terrorists do what terrorists do. They wouldn't be called terrorists if they didn't threaten, maim, rape, murder, bomb innocent civilians. The people in that thread, most of them were actively trying to minimize the attack, blaming the Nova Psy Trans Festival goers for partying next to a concentration camp. I will tell you right now, I don't support Zionism. I do support a free and democratic nation for Jewish people if they so choose to create one, but the state of Israel is a violent, genocidal, settler, colonialist nation, conjured up in the shadow of very real anti-Semitic pogroms and the Holocaust. Six million people mass murdered using the most modern technologies available at the time, using industrial scale assembly line genocide of the most horrific order, starting with the general anti Semitic milieu of the time, despite major advances in civilization, thanks to at times a handful of leading activists, scientists, humanitarians, philosophers of Jewish descent, whose contributions to the advancement of all of humanity can never be erased. But then they came for disabled people, autistic children, mobile Zyklon B, prussic acid gas vans. Humanity was lost in the back of those vans. Action T4. If you don't know, look it up. The book Burnings began with the destruction of the Library of Scientific Studies Research on Human Sex and Sexuality at Dr. Magnus Hirschfeld Sex Institute. His building turned into barracks for the Hitler Jugend. He died heartbroken in exile in Paris, his life's work in ashes blowing away in the smoke. They came for transgender people. They came for Democrats, they came for socialists, anarchists, communists, labor leaders, union activists, they came for them all. But most of all they came for the Jews and far too many people just watched it happen. Leonard Cohen, in his song Democracy, sang, I'm neither left or right, I'm just staying home tonight, getting lost in that hopeless little scream. What did he mean? Did he mean me? Did he mean you? He meant himself, he meant us all. The apathy, the moral cowardice, the failure to own up to our own complicity in ignoring it and looking away, pretending it's not happening, pretending we're not funding it and cheering it on. I cheered it on. At first, I don't like terrorists. I would never terrorize random strangers for political ends. I don't believe in collective punishment and terrorism is just a form of collective punishment against people who have nothing to do with my oppression or anyone's oppression. It turns people against your cause anyway, so why do it? Terrorism is effective and Israel's found is proof from Ergen to the I death the D in scare quotes because Israel's right to defend itself from Hamas ended the moment they started killing innocent civilians, premature babies, and neonatal ICUs. genocide right you know that the first time i learned about the holocaust about what the nazis really did to the jewish people of europe i was horrified i'm still horrified and i also grew up being a fan of so many jewish artists scientists philosophers writers humanitarians it is not that i believed or believe that any group of people are wonderful or great simply because of their ethnicity or religion or skin color but the richness of jewish culture and values of fighting for social justice not only for themselves but for everyone those are qualities i sought to emulate that i still seek to emulate and that is why i am waving the flag of palestine not the flag of israel I am waving a flag for peace, for war to end, for the genocide of Palestinian people to stop. It is my love and respect for the Jewish people, but particularly every last Jewish Israeli who has ceaselessly fought for Palestinian rights, including the many who were murdered on October 7, 2023. Nothing can excuse October 7th. October 7th may have raised global awareness and sympathy for the almost eight decades of fast and slow genocide of Palestinian people. The land theft, the apartheid. Even Amir and Levin knows it, even if he's forgotten again. The reality is that the world should have stopped this before it even began. Jewish people deserve to be safe from anti-Semitism everywhere, and that is not going to happen so long as Zionists insist on claiming that the nightmare of Zionism is the dream of all Jewish people, when that is patently untrue. It fuels every far-right fascist and neo-Nazi wet dream to be able to use Israel's genocidal policies as the pretext to mass murder all Jewish people everywhere. The world cannot let that happen. 
again we said What does that mean? Does it really mean never again? Does it only mean never again for Israeli mass graves at the grounds of bombed out hospitals in Gaza are found with Palestinian hospital workers tied up and executed that you will finally use the word genocide? Does it mean that when Israeli bombs made in the US paid for by US taxpayers explode the brains of little children in Rafa that you will finally call it what it is? Genocide? Does it mean that when I deaf soldiers record themselves raping a Palestinian prisoner to death and those same soldiers are now celebrities in Israel that you will finally call it what it is? Neo-fascism? Just like Nazi Germany? That is not my opinion. Those are the words of former IDF General Amir Levin, and he was talking about the West Bank's apartheid 55 days before October 7th. What Israel is doing to Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank is genocide. Genocide. It evokes memories of black and white photos of Muslim men, just skin and bones, and now oversized strike concentration camp trousers, ribs sticking out, just skin and bones, and now dead babies in Gaza. October 7th, what Israel is doing to Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank is genocide. Genocide. It evokes memories of black and white photos of Muslim just skin and bones in now oversized striped concentration camp trousers, ribs sticking out, just skin and bones, and now dead babies in Gaza.